Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play King of Dragon Pass. We had no babies! Proceed. One of the one of us who had the sense that trickster magic might be more reliable this year. What a shame we don't have a trickster. We performed two hero quests since Elmol the Prophet brought us the ten-year ring. Yes, yes we have. We only need to perform two as well. Uh, yeah, heroes will bring favours to the gods even closer. If we don't allocate everything, we'll lose it. We have 33 magic points. So, you know, let's allocate a lot of magic. Herds, diplomacy, destiny, children. We'll keep 19 magic points spare. Oh, Austinor, you are looking old. You're one of the few original clan members we've got left. <laughs> You and, uh, Rostikos there. Rostikos is 59. Ooh, things aren't looking good for the, uh... We've ruled for six years. <laughs> so not that long, actually, before we finish the game. Well, what should we do with our time? Well, the first thing we can do is we can see if we have any, um... Spell... Do we not have all the spells for this guy? Well, we'll figure that out. The workings of the literacy ritual. We have too many hunters in the wildlands. Oh, this one. One of your weapon thanes, Randan, appears before the clan and recounts an incident that occurred back in the holy country, before the migration to Mag Dragon Pass. When I was just a child, my father Kalei, a weapon thane of this clan, was seized by Olkenzor and Derek. Then of the Varathi of Vathari clan. They threw him upon a bonfire and would not let him off until he had been burned to the bones. Whereupon they kindly let him off and uh, he went over and uh, shook their hand and then fell to bits. Long have I given up hope of vengeance against these two killers, but now I hear that they are here in Dragon Pass and have been adopted by the Mule Deers. <laughs> Although they are now old, they must pay for what they've done while they were young. In the sagas, personal grudges often turn into full-fledged feuds between clans. Living cows are more useful than dead enemies. Randan will keep asking until we satisfy him. If we raid the Mule Deers, Randan can avenge his father on the battlefield. The Mule value our friendship. They must pay wear guild, no matter what the local merit, legal merits of the case. We have no case against the Mule Deers. The killings took place when the men belonged to a far distant plan. Randon kills them, they will have a case against us. Tell Randon not to raise this matter during planting time, or tell him to take care of it himself. I agree. Personal private vengeance. He gathered weapon frames from this clan and friendly warriors from other clans too. They raided the Tula of the Muldeers, seized Orkenzor and Derek, carried them back to our Tula. Randon threw them upon a bonfire and would not let them off until they were burned to the bones. Well, he probably got up and shook his hand and then fell to bits. Soon a mule deer delegation arrives, demanding Wergil for the death of four. Uh, he asked for 40 cows, the custody amount for two slain Werthanes. We can afford the Wergil if we want to pay it. Maybe I can talk them into settling for less. We have a case against us. We also have a case against them. The mule deers valued our friendship. To restore it, we should pay Wergil. They have more of a case of us against us than we do against them. We can afford the Wergil. They stood firm and they demanded 40 cows. Agree. They said that justice had been done and departed. Our people complained they paid a heavy price for Rastan's private vengeance. I don't care. Pri- Oh no, your mood is now only splendid. whoop de friggin do Oh no! Speaking of splendid... We have more of these that we must learn. Oh, yeah, the secrets of Lankamai finds the truth. Okay. It's not really gonna help me. Build a temple, I guess. Or a bigger one. Yes. Ah, the delegation from the Holy Country returns to reclaim the Iron Spike. Today's representatives of the Far Off Land Breakers clan bring you the gifts they promised, the tapestry even more valuable than the one they gave you before, and plenty more silver. Pharaoh is stupid enough to send us his treasure and now he thinks he can get it back? Oh no. He made a prize to them. They are in the right. They worship the same gods as we, and so they should be treated properly. We can beat them, and they know it. P 
people would be happy to get those gifts. They'll be even happier if we can keep the treasure, too. Losing a great weapon against the trolls seems like a blow against our ancestors. Ah, <laughs> uh, we must return the Iron Spike. We were obligated to. Our people were happy. Oh yes, back to being jubilant, I see. Oh, oh how many... We're sacrificing 32 cows, 85 sheep, 20 pigs and 100 goods every year to keep our temples going. But we have 3,400 sheep, so really, it's a drop in the ocean. I think I want another ritual. Give it to me. Clan law, there we go. I could build an even bigger temple. Let's do it. Not you again. Extra powerful purification ritual. 40 goods. Purify. Oh, he's not fully purified. Ow. I hate you, little kid. I should just outlaw him. Somebody said I should have outlawed him, but, you know. He's a kid. He's not responsible for his actions. I think my clan would hate me if I did that. Hmm, where can we explore? Well, we're not exploring that way. The Beast Valley. We'll eventually get our asses on. I know, let's explore up here. Not there. There lies someone really horrible. Oh, you're pretty good at this. Three weapon fanes, ten footmen, up there, travel slowly, off you go. Hey, the spirit fetch caught some magic that we used recently. That was handy. God, you're looking old. I hope you survive. I want someone on the original clan ring to survive to the end of the game. What can I do at this point? I really don't know. You can only build a temple of one. We don't have a temple to you. We don't have a temple to you. We have a temple to you. We have one to you. Don't have one to you, but we don't need one. We have one to Marangor, don't we? There's another ritual we could learn from Marangor. There you go. Trolls! Ah, oh, they're here now that we bloody lost the silly thing. What? The last we saw Rusticus, he stalked into the darkness intent on killing a troll that had struck down one of his our footmen. We never saw him again? No, Rostakos! No! Ah! Oh, and there's the end of Rostakos! Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! We don't have a good. You're our fourth best plant. Why well, just need someone of a different. We don't have anyone of a different, um, thing, do we? Okay, we have an Isari's man. We have a man of Isari's. To be fair, you need to go there. Brandon, you're no, you're no Dangmar. But you'll have to do, won't you? Organize the clan. In return, finding a dense forest full of perils. Our explorers were investigating a makeshift grave and they were ambushed by elves. Some of our people were wounded, others were killed. Stinking forest. Oh, goody. Contented. Is that all we are? We're content. Fistiraos, a member of the Lysan clan, comes to you seeking aid. Plant people! The elves have descended on Artula and demand the right to worship at our shrine of Flamel. They will harm us if we refuse, they say. But we do not want our shrine strengthening the magic of the deadly forest folk. Why can't elves and humans worship Flamel together? Flamel, who was killed and then came back, loves elves more than us. If we harm the elves, our fertility could suffer. The elves hate us. We couldn't convince them that the sky is blue. 
Elves are terrifying opponents. We wish to fight them. The war party must be led by someone proficient both combat and magic. Flamel is a god of vegetation. Some say he was married to Anulda before she married Orlanth. Woohoo! We are not obligated to help. Helping the Lysangs will improve our relationship with them. Convince the Lysangs to allow limited use. They refused. Ah! Why? I was only trying to help you. Only trying to help. Aye. Sometimes you just can't help people, can you? We haven't done any raiding at all. We haven't done any, done any raiding or anything. We've just done sacrifices and... Building of temples, which I suppose isn't necessarily a bad thing. Any alliances that we can try and forge at this point? No, not at this point, but we'll wait a year. It's now a sacred time. <laughs> 40 more, 30 more people, 27 fewer heads of cattle, less sheep, and relative quantities of food. Proceed. No omens. Harvest will be very poor. Oh, I hate poor harvests. Poor harvests suck. Very royally. Oh no, we only have 18 points. You're still going. Excellent, excellent. What can we do this year? Well, I suppose we could go on some alliance making. How about to the, uh, you guys? Is your ending? Propose an alliance. We only have a thousand goods to offer. Now, what do you think? Their chief is known as a miser. You will profit greatly that way. We'll go with it, though. No. What? Compared to us, your herds are small. We have nearly a thousand cows. Ah, oh, screw you. Really? Really? Let's get rid of all these hunters. I don't need them. They could be farmers. Didn't we have something called someone called Garne Garneva? Hang on. My phone. My phone is going. Let me deal with that. There we go. Hey, someone was named after our former clan leader. One of your cars is found slain in an isolated corner of your Cthulhu. She is obviously the victim of secret murder. One of the most serious crimes in Orlanthi society. People are appalled and frightened. Conduct a divination. One of your own clan members who has been claimed by Chaos. Oh, Chaos God is within your own clan. Oh no, the old man killed him. Glad and sad. Oh dear. And there go two people of our clan. No matter. No matter. Okay, so if we can't go and make peace with you... What about the... Genesti? Can we make peace with you guys? This isn't gonna work either. No! You are terrible! You're a very good bargainer, a very rubbish bargainer. He's a better, he's just as good at bargaining as you are. Why do I have you on my team again? Why do I have you on my team? You're both members of Asaris. Fair good, fair good. Ugh. Why do I have you on my team? I don't know. I need someone to replace you. Is there is no one to replace you, is there? Everyone's been taken up. Dang it. Two Isarians. I've just realized this. Hmm. Hmm. Very awkward. 
Well, I suppose you guys can both stay for now. Ugh, this clan ring is a mess. In the middle of Death Week, a gruesome delegation appears in your clan hall. They are the insubstantial warriors who are warriors. You have shamed the clan! You have turned from the old ways! You will face nothing but doom and disaster until you act in a matter worthy of our ancestors! They are maybe hostile spirits, but they're also our kin. You have the 15 cows worth. They may be dead, but not dead enough that they won't make a deal. Ghosts can be captured in spirit combat and used as power spells. Ere the shed, through the ending shroud, they shuffled to Hector the Flesh Bound. We could capture them and use the spirits to use battle magic, but we shouldn't, because they're our ancestors. We are respected throughout Dragon Pass. Even the dead must be scolded when they are in the wrong. <laughs> we'll sacrifice to the spirits. Thirty goods. They pronounced themselves pleased with the respect we had shown them and vanished. Good! Sheesh! Optimistic. Is that all we are? Clan Rouge Reserve, we've ruled for seven years. Phew. You'd think we'd have better luck than this. We could explore closer to Prax, but I really am skeptical of that. You, you've been pretty poor at exploring until, re until now. Go here. Off you go. I just heard what happened with the dispute between the elves and Lysanx. Remember how the elves were insisting a temple rights? Well, the weapon thanes of Adari assembled a war party and drove the elves off. And the horse spawn! Oh boy! Oh god. I'm trying to drive them off. Does he charge immediately? Charge immediately. took four women, children, and old folk captive, but we killed the rest of them. Great. They took our women, and old people, and children. Why would, why would you take them captive? Oh yes, to be used as thralls, that's why. Yeah. Reserved clan mood now. Gifts for everyone. We'll bribe our way to happiness. Lasari, a lead elite trader of your clan, reports back on the recent exploration mission to the wastelands of Prax. There will be a there, there the party met a group of nomads who had fabulous birds and claimed to be doughty warriors. They offered to help us raid another clan dragon pass exchange with twenty cows worth of silver and a quarter of the spoils. Hmm. We should raid the Apple Clan? No. Nothing could be gained in giving them gifts. Pranks are where we obey warring nomad tribes. Each of them rides a different kind of animal. I'm not sure if we can trust these nomads. We shall send them some gifts. It's nice for them to do. They're appreciative of the gifts we sent them. Oh, it's you! Can't also worry if that he'll kill one of us. For a quarter in the fort, everyone deserves a second chance to be an able warrior. He probably does. We had a bad harvest. On top of that, the sacred rituals we performed will not work. Luckily, we only have 3,100 bushels of food, so let's have a feast. A large feast. Invite the neighbors. Clan mood is now optimistic because we spent 50 bits of food. Excellent. Another feast. Invite the neighbors. As queen of the, of the tribe, surely you will aid the clans that support you so that you do not grow weak. Hmm. We can what better afford to give them trade goods. They owe us a favor. When they owe us a favor, our good queen's name is praised. We will help them, and they will help our queen and our land. Our clan. If we are generous, they will spread the good name throughout the tribe. Give them more than the customary amount. Excellent. We are a generous people. Unfortunately, this still didn't rub on us, apparently. We have the magic to spare. The marsh ducks hate us. What a shock there. Look at all these spells that we have active. 
battle luck, lightning, morale, woe, true sword, watch from us, fjord women, <laughs> earth blood as well, I think. Yeah, earth blood. What else does there really do? I suppose the only thing that we can do... I don't know. Do we not have the horse friend ritual? We don't now. We still don't. Come on! I want all the rituals before the game ends. Nope. Wildcats just suffered a punishing attack from the Tusk Riders. Their enemies slew many Wildcat weapon things and took plenty of cattle and traegers when they left. Ugh. Well, folks, we didn't make a lot of food there at all, if you can see. Well, I, I will catch you later, and hope and perhaps what might be the last video of the game. <laughs> because we've almost got to ten years. So until next time, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. See you then.